Alright guys, welcome back to another video from Aussie Dip Free Girl. Today I am going to be prepping tons of veggies. You would have seen this in one of my last grocery haul videos. But I got a bunch of veggies for nice and cheap, including zucchinis for 29 cents a kilo. So I bought about seven of these giant zucchinis. I'm only chopping up about one and a half tonight and dicing that up. The rest I'm leaving in the fridge for now to be used fresh. And then if it gets to the end of the next couple weeks when they're not looking so crash up, I'll dice them up again and freeze them. But this is what I do. I stockpile food when it's super cheap when I can get these really great deals like this and put them in the freezer and then bust them out when it's you know seven dollars a kilo because when am I ever going to get 29 cents a kilo um, zucchini. Same with the pumpkin. The pumpkin's been sitting in the cupboard for the last three months. It's still fine. It's stored correctly but I got that for seven cents a kilo so I'm going to finally dice up some of it and use and freeze it. I actually used some the other night in a meal so it was already cut in the fridge. I also am going to dice up my capsicum and freeze them in a bag with some zucchini. I would also add carrots to that usually but I'm all out of carrots and that's fine. Next time they're on special which I think is this week they're a twenty a kilo. I'll grab some and I'll prep them for the freezer. We also eat about a kilo to a kilo and a half of carrots a week fresh and um, I'll also blitz some up in the fruit processor into a, a fine dice and then that can be added to all of my mince dishes to help bulk that out. Uh, these capsicums I got four on a clearance tray for a dollar. I've just had to cut out one soft spot and the rest is perfect. So these are going directly into a freezer bag for the freezer. I got this bag holder from eBay after I saw somebody on YouTube using one years ago. I'm pretty sure it was Jam Morel from um, Large Family Table. And it cost me, I think, $9, including shipping um, on eBay, but it was hard to find. But it's super handy. It also extends to do big gallon size bags as well. And I freeze in sandwich bags and then press it flat to have as little uh, air in there as possible and to make it easy to store everything and sort everything, it all freezes flat and it's much easier to store. I also use takeaway containers to store these foods and then when I use all of the veggies out of that, I'll store the leftovers from the meals I make in those containers so they're getting used over and over and over again. And again, it's easier to store, it all stacks nicer. I use diced zucchini and diced capsicum and these things in stuff like risotto, fried rice, soups. I'll just add it to anything and everything to up the veggies and up the health factor. I'm not freezing these green beans. I, you can, but you need to blanch them first or I cheat and just steam mine lightly. But I prefer my green beans to be fresh. So I'm just um, topping and tailing them, cutting them in half. And then they're all going to go into these containers in the fridge for me to use this week. It'll be much easier for me to make a meal with them if I don't have to spend, you know, 10 minutes prepping them as well as making all the other stuff. Now, this is a voiceover video because this was actually at about 11.30 at night and I wanted to get all these veggies prepped and in the fridge and freezer before the next day. I didn't want them sitting out and I didn't have any room. Um, for them to be the way they were. So I've got a podcast on and I'm having a cup of tea and I'm doing these. Those I'm writing on the containers in Nico of what they are and the date. It doesn't really fuss me too much because it's not like they're going to go bad. I put the date on so that if I put up some more um, zucchini or something later, I can use the oldest first and, you know, nothing falls to the back. Again, rotating through the food, making sure we're eating it at the freshest point possible. This is how we eat on a budget and we eat lots of veggies and lots of fruit. I have lots of things put up in my freezer at the moment. Let me know below if you guys want a, a freezer tour of like all my frozen veg and um, my leftovers that I freeze in single serve takeaway containers for nights when I don't want to cook. Uh, this is really helpful for that too. I can just bust out a leftover and bust out some fresh veg and there we go. 
I'm only going to prep one of these um, broccoli because I wanted it for dinner the next night. The other two have gone a little yellow. It took me about a day to get to them and they were still wrapped in the plastic. That's okay. I ended up cutting all of the yellow bits off and dicing it all up and adding it to a stir fry. Not a problem. Also, I do use the stalk of the broccoli. Uh, if you've ever eaten those cubed mixed veg packets when we were kids, the cheap ones, you've eaten um, broccoli, st broccoli stalks. It's really good. I slice them into like uh, either dice to go into like risottos or slice them into little stalks, which are great in your stir fry. They're just that little bit of extra crunch. Now I've decided to peel the to peel this pumpkin and do it in a fine dice because I want to use this particular pumpkin for risottos and things like that, um, that it'll kind of just come apart and melt into. I do eat um, the pumpkin with the skin on when I'm roasting it, but I don't freeze for roasting. It's just not a good texture. I also leave the skin on my carrots and other things as long as they're washed really well and it works for whatever dish it is because it's extra fiber that I'm getting into my family. So I'm going to be prepping this pumpkin for the next little bit and you will see me pop that away. I'm having a cup of tea here and using this as my unwind quiet time and I ended up staying up until about 2 a.m. doing this and recording all of this just because it had to get done and these are the things that we do to save some money and I mean seven cents a kilo for pumpkin and 29 cents a kilo for zucchini those are good healthy vegetables that my family will be eating on for the rest of the year so i feel like these little time investments now really do pay off monetarily um, and health wise for my family of five let me know guys what you want to see in the description the comment section below i'm happy to do more videos on tours you let me know i will work it out for you i have more content coming i am sorry that things have been off schedule at the moment covid and the car accident and everything's really thrown everything out of whack and i lost my sd um my ssd uh in the car accident so it i lost a ton of footage and i lost almost everything from shelf timber so i'm trying to get that sorted for you guys now so please forgive me I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, if you want to see more from me, like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. And you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, the blog, and now I'm on TikTok too. Bye, guys. Oh.